Okay, so now that we have our server up and running, let's take a look around and see what we have. We have, um, first of all, PHP info. If I click on that, this is going to allow us to find out information about our install of PHP. So it tells us the PHP version, 5.2.4, all kind of different things um, about that. Uh, another thing, if we come down here and we click PHP My Admin, this will allow us to work with all of our database through a web interface. So if you're not comfortable typing command prompts at the SQL command, um, you can certainly do it much easier from here. So if you look on the side here, it says databases. There's a list of all the databases that are here by default, and there's a handful that are built. Uh, for instance, if we click on this one, MySQL, you'll see all the different tables that are contained here. So for instance, this one here, user, if I click on that, that will show me different database table fields, uh, host, user, password, so on. So information about the database. Now, if I come back to home, I can do things like uh, create a new database. So if I wanted to create a database called uh, test, test. I can pick what type I want, different things like that. Just hit create, it will create it. I can create the tables, I can define the data types and the tables, all uh, different information like that. If I go back to the local host page, there's other things, there's information about components, there's documentation. This is great. If you're trying to work with this, if you click documentation, there's information about Apache, about PHP, about MySQL, um, and some of the other information. There's a really nice tutorial here. Apache Friends have uh, documentation. There's interactive tutorials, there's tutorials on programming Perl, which you can also run off this system. So it's it's really pretty nice. Now, if you wanted to get at the mail server, for instance, which I don't have running right now, but I could get at that and I could uh, set up my mail server. Now, this is probably not something you're going to do on your local box, but on your if you want to set this up on your web server, this is where you could set up all your email addresses. So if I wanted to set up, you know, Chris at um, my site, dot com or whatever I could set all that information up you could send webmail from here if you wanted to hook up to like Microsoft Outlook or some or maybe uh, Mozilla Thunderbird something like that you could do all that too uh, FileZilla you could set up your FTP client you're like I said you're gonna be on your home computer so you're not gonna need to do all this but if you wanted to, you certainly could set it up. For instance, if you had this on a real server out on the internet, you need to set up uh, an FTP server so that you can move files back and forth. So when you update some pages or maybe create some new images or something, you want to put them up on your server, this is how you would do it th uh, through an FTP client. So those are some of the fun things that you can do. Now, if I minimize this, if I take a look on my computer, Remember, I installed XAMPP in the C drive. So here it is. There's the XAMPP folder. When I open this up, there's a whole bunch of folders inside of there. Uh, the most important folder that you want to think about right now is htdocs. This is where all your files for your website are going to go. So you build everything in here. So if you want to put images in or pages or little scripts like for things you're doing, you put that all in here. Uh, typically, I start off with something like um, I put a couple folders in, so maybe I put in a new folder for images. I put in a new folder for maybe my files and maybe a new folder uh, if I'm going to use JavaScripts. And then I usually leave all my pages in the root folder. Now, that's a pretty simple setup. Uh, you might want to do something more elaborate, uh, but that's all up to you. So those are some of the things you need to know to work with that. Now, the rest is really up to you. What type of site you're going to be building, what kind of applications, uh, and 
different things like that. But that's how you set the test server up on your own computer so that you can do anything you want. So if you need to run a server, if you need to run a database, a mail server, an FTP server,